Hey guys! Has this ever happened to you? You are in a business Skype meeting and you talk about lots of important things, but you fail to remember them? And your only thought is, I wish I had recorded this meeting. Well, hold tight then, because in this video I'll show you how to record a Skype for business meeting. Recording a Skype meeting basically means recording your screen, so we're gonna need a nice screen recorder, something that is lightweight, simple to use, easy to navigate, has no watermark because we all know how annoying they are, and can record for unlimited time. Yes, I am talking about Screen Rec. Screen Rec is an awesome software for screen recording that can also capture your computer audio and microphone. You can record in HD and it's extremely easy to navigate. And if you still don't believe me, I suggest you see it for yourself. Go to ScreenRec.com and download the app. It's available for Windows, Linux and Mac. Start the installation wizard, which takes no more than 2 minutes. And voila! You are ready to start working with ScreenRec. Let me just give you a quick walkthrough of the settings. From here you can choose your mic your camera input device if you want to use the front camera as well. This toggle should be active so that the app captures the computer audio. Click on the X and you will see that a miniature navigation panel appears. You can move it around and put it wherever is best. Now open Skype and start your meeting. In order to make a video of your screen, simply click on the video camera button and choose the area you want to capture. You can also use the key combination Alt plus S, select the area and then click on the video button. When you want to stop recording, you can click this button or again Alt plus S. Your video is automatically uploaded to your own 2GB private storage space. From here you can either download it locally or use the instant shareable link if you want to send it to someone. But in order to have all these perks, you will need to create a free account. And that's it! I hope this short tutorial was useful to you and if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more of these. Thanks for watching!